Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Royal Rumble. We have, this is the final matchup until we get to the final round. Uh, Tyler versus Darkness. Um, Juggalo, Darkness Juggalo. Um, whoever wins this will go head-to-head. -head. And, uh, spoiler alert for anyone that hasn't seen the last Rumble, make sure you go watch the last Rumble. Uh, against DJ. So, this is a big one. Because not only are you going to be in the final round, you're going to go against the champion. Because he can't be stopped. <laughs> so, it is Tyler versus Darkness Juggalo. 15 versus 15. Um, Other superstars will join in in the order that they drew. So, yeah. It's going to be big. And as they are eliminated, I will tell you what team they are on. When you are thrown with both feet. Uh-oh, who are we starting off with? Oh, I already know because I see Rhino. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I want to say this. I owe this guy a WrestleMania. Because I saw somebody in the comments, they said that, you know, he came out at number 13 and won the thing. And look at this epic entrance. Yeah. I do owe him a WrestleMania because he did win one at 13. So, he's got a shot tonight. You know, he's starting off at number one. Could it happen is the question. Um, unlikely, but it could. And it will be Rhino versus Killmonger here. Rhino versus Killmonger. Eric Kitty Miner. So let's go ahead and get this one started. Oh man, Marvel versus Marvel villains. Going head to head. And if Rhino, I mean, if Rhino, I would root for Rhino if he can make it all the way. I'll root for him. Because I'm a big Rhino fan. You guys know I'm a big Rhino fan. So I would definitely root for him. Let's be honest. I like Killmonger too, but he's not going to win. Especially at number two here. You, if you're going to win starting at number one, you probably have to be a super heavy. That's the only way you could pull it off. And Eric Draven's number three. He looks a bit off his game here. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Yeah, but of the guys in the ring right now, he's just as capable as any of winning this thing and going on to WrestleMania. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. Entry number four. Who's it going to be? And Dr. Roxo at number four here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Hey, if he can't handle a little punishment here and there, maybe he has no business being in the Royal Rumble match. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's... Oh, man, and Dr. Roxo, the first one out of here by Eric Draven. And that is a loss for darkness. Here we go, guys. Elimination coming up. Here we go. Number five. Boom, what impact. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Uh-oh. Here he comes, fellas. And he looks And the guy from My Hero Academia is here in number five. Oh boy, he is rolling. You gotta believe this one's over. What's this? I still need to watch that show. I think I'd like it. I just haven't tried it out. So uh, maybe someday when I get some time, which is never. <laughs> so. This is about to get bad. Oh, Rhino tried something and beast at number six here. My short list of favorites. Oh, it's locked in. 
That's Beast pointing. I don't know why Beast is pointing. You don't want to get locked into that move for a long time. And look at Eric Draven. Another elimination, and there goes Killmonger. And that is a loss for Tyler. No elimination here. Very questionable move. He's trying to lift out Rhino. That didn't work. And John McClain is number seven. By the way, guys, just to let you all know, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. So, yeah, I said it. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, what makes this, rumble, this final rumble so special is, you know, DJ's going to either go up against um, a tag team rival or he's going to go up against uh, uh, Team Die Hard. So, who declares himself as a Christmas movie. Yeah, so, he's going to have to go up against either team. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a rivalry because, you know, one team has John McClane and then the other team has a rivalry with it. Oh! And a big elimination. Beast, once again, gets thrown over the top rope. And Rhino falls on his head. Oh, my goodness. That was an epic elimination. Prestige of winning the Royal Rumble match and how the event itself and on the road to WrestleMania. We must go. Let's see where Beast like uh Beast is a loss for darkness. Rhino is a big loss. Both are big losses uh, for Tyler, so it is two to two. Enter the match. He's looking at it. Oh, it's over. Oh, he turns it around. Showing off some of his speed there. Counting it down, who's it gonna be? And there goes Grail. He never really does nothing, and that is a loss for Darkness. What a job. What a shot. Oh, he can definitely make a difference here, guys. And Draven and Bandit Keith holds on. Yeah. Could be trouble here, guys. <laughs> guys, it's almost time for our next competitor. Oh, what a great escape. Wow, I cannot believe it. Uh -oh, this will shake things up. You're not kidding, Michael. He's struggling a bit here. He's not careful. This could... Rhino, I mean, Rhino went head first into the thing. <laughs> or horn first. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was insane. It just really caught me off guard, that elimination. I've never seen one that weird in my life. That could have been disastrous, Byron. And Bandit Keith versus John McClain. And I think I'm keeping good track. I, I really got thrown off by that uh, elimination. This should be number 11. No, it's number 12. Maybe I'm missing somebody. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe I'm miscounting in the ring. Oh, enough. I got it. And Eric Draven's been eliminated. It was Grell I was missing for a second. Uh, and that is a loss for Darkness. So four losses there. Tyler has two. Tyler about to have three, though. Uh, so that is a loss for Tyler. With uh, My Hero Academia guy is eliminated. Beautiful technique. We're in the final moments before number 13 enters the fray. Oh, he rushed right. Oh, you can tell he's got evil intentions on his mind. And Wolverine is 13. Dodges trouble there. You got that right, Michael. That had elimination written all over it. And gets out of harm's way. Oh, boy, that could have been bad, Michael. The 2017 Royal Rumble saw more than 52,000 members. I still can't get over the Rhino elimination. Like, I've never seen someone go, like, head first into the, the side of the ring. <laughs> so, it was just unreal. It's kind of a glitch, I guess. And John McClain, oh, versus Rambo. Great matchup here, and Rambo's been eliminated. And Bandit Keith eliminated. 
So Rambo's a loss for Darkness. That's up to five for him. And Bandit Keith's a loss for Tyler. So he's got four losses. So it's been pretty even. Uh, just one off. Wolverine almost got caught in the rope. Yeah, but of the guys in the ring right now, he's just as capable as any of winning this thing and going on to WrestleMania. And Wolverine, look here. Oh, man, lays out John McClain. Determined as ever. And Homelander's 14. The so Homelander at 14 here. On free television at the very same time that the competition was holding their bunkhouse stampede pay per view. Coincidence? I think not. Oh, when this guy's on. And Duke Kaboom. Uh oh, Duke Kaboom and Dean Winchester. And Duke Kaboom from Toy Story 4 eliminates Die Hard. And John McLean's out, and that is a loss for Tyler. So it is five to five officially. And Buff Shaggy at number 15 here. Oh man, Buff Shaggy is in the house. Oh my goodness. Close lines Dean Winchester. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him. And Homelander, a double team here. Like Dean Winchester's done. That is a loss for Tyler. So Tyler with six losses now. That's how you stop your opponent. And Wario at number 16. So it's starting to be a little bit one-sided for one team. You only got one. Make your last shot. And look at Buff Shaggy. Really? <laughs> Poor Duke Kaboom. Here we go. I wouldn't say it's one-sided yet, but it's getting. No, nah, it's not one-sided. Looking at the, uh, I got uh, the teams confused, but it's getting. There. And Homelander has been eliminated, and that is a loss for Tyler. So up to seven losses, Darkness with only five. Floyd Money Mayweather's here. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Of course, it's a long standing tradition that the winner of the Royal Rumble goes on to main event WrestleMania. But newer fans might not realize that the rule did not go into effect. Which superstar is this going to be? And Wolverine eliminates Duke Kaboom, and that is a loss for Darkness. Uh, Pinhead's number 18. Oh, Devastating elbow. As Byron mentioned, 1993 marked the first time the Royal Rumble winner advanced to WrestleMania. And that year, it was Yokozuna who won the Rumble and challenged Bret Hart at WrestleMania 9. Can you imagine if that rule was in effect prior to 1993? WrestleMania 5 would have been Randy Savage versus Big Next Entrance. Baltimore's number 19. So Baltimore at 19. So yeah, it's about even now on the uh, how they're coming out. Oh, Pinhead versus Baltimore. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, Pinhead's going to charge him all the way from over there. Oh, he, Mayweather got in the way. Baltimore was about to get eliminated quick again. But... I mean, Baltimore has had no luck in these rumbles. He has done nothing. <laughs> he, is, he is here for a free ride. And Wolverine has been eliminated. And that is a loss for Darkness. So, 7-7. Seven seven. And Buff Shaggy done. Baltimore finally redeems himself. And gets rid of Buff Shaggy. So, that is a loss for Tyler. an exciting night in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And Android 17 is here. 15th consecutive appearance in the Royal Rumble match. And the Rumble debuts of The Shield, Rusev, Cesaro, Big E, Luke Parker, Eric Rowan, and Fandango. What a punch! I remember calling the action.
Robinson at the 2014 Royal Rumble and was shot when I heard my broadcast colleague JBL's entrance music. Oh, and Wario with a low blow to Pinhead. How disgusting. <laughs> and Grubby Cat at number 21. Android 17. Oh man, he actually survived that. I'm surprised. We're talking a lot about dream matchups and the luck of the draw at the Royal Rumble. And for good reason. The 2017 Royal Rumble, we saw two icons. I could see a Baltimore and a Pinhead tag team. That'd be cool. This is all but over. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Trying for the elimination here. Look at Pinhead here, oh my goodness. Grumpy Cat in trouble. And he has been eliminated and that is a loss for Tyler. This should be interesting. And Wreck-It Ralph is 22. You gotta believe this one's over. Don't break your Pinhead's mad at Wario because he uh, basically hurt his chance at eliminating Floyd Money Mayweather. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment. And T Pain is 23. He's even still in there, guys. Given the punishment he's taken, I figured somebody would have eliminated him by now. This is going to get interesting in the end, and we're having Pinhead versus Baltimore now. Gain too much momentum here, which I think's been an interesting matchup. It almost ended quickly, too. Over over. Can he finish him off here? I couldn't be more impressed by that combination, Michael. I love that pinhead. Whoever created that pinhead, they deserve $100,000. <laughs> I mean, that's so, it's, it's such, it's the best pinhead I've ever seen. And the fact that they made the other Cenobites is just icing on the cake. I mean. Not so fast. It's unbelievable. And Gronk is number 24. If at first you don't succeed, comes up big with a reversal. A harsh impact. Uh -oh. And Pinhead eliminates Floyd. And that is another loss for Tyler. So he's up to 10 losses, 10 to 7. With a brain buster, that'll scramble your brain. to make an elimination here. Oh boy, he is. And Pinhead has been eliminated by Gronk. And that is a loss for Darkness. So up to eight losses there. Look out, a possible elimination coming up. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. Oh boy, he is rolling. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Big. Looking at what's left, one team has an advantage. Uh, obviously, uh, one team has an advantage. And Wreck It Ralph, look here. There goes the pinhead. So, wait. Oh, man, Pinhead fooled me. I thought Baltimore was Pinhead. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I already thought Pinhead was gone. It was Baltimore. So, we're going to say that's Baltimore. They tricked me. <laughs> and, uh, uh, nine losses there for Darkness. He loses Wreck-It Ralph as well. So, that puts him up to ten losses. Ten to ten. It's officially ten to ten now. Wait, Wario's been gone. What in the world am I watching? Like, Wario's been out, so Tyler lost another one there. Android 17, where did these people go? Was I just in a daze? So, Android 17 was a loss for Tyler. So he's down to three people. Corvus is here. The Darkness is down to five people. Yeah. So I'm back on my count. I don't know what happened. 
I was just lost in the, in the rumble or whatever. I was just like, wait, Andrew 17's in the rumble. What am I seeing? Oh my goodness. I, I have lost my mind. That's what's going on. I have officially lost my mind. So, no, Tyler has four of them, not three. Um, no, well, I gave that one away. And watch him get eliminated here. Like, really? <laughs> I, I may be lost on counts. Yeah, it didn't matter. So he's gone. It's back to three remaining for Tyler. And yeah, one team has a big advantage here. He's doing exactly what he did. I still think I'm missing something. I don't know what I'm missing. T Pain's been eliminated. That's a loss for Darkness. He's down to four. Dr. Manhattan's here. Oh, man. That is someone you don't want to see at number 27. Oh my goodness, you do not want to see him at 27. Looks like we might get an elimination, guys. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. And Dr. Manhattan's eliminated Gronk. And that is a loss for Tyler. He is down to two people, officially. And looking at the remainder of this rumble, uh, one team it doesn't look good for. And Elvis is 28. Maybe a better chance if you ask me. Guys, I don't think we can watch the Royal Rumble match without mentioning the mastermind behind the epic event. Of course, that person is WWE Hall of Famer <laughs> Pat Patterson, a true legend. Elvis dancing in the ring. Corey, without a doubt. In fact, I'll be surprised if this doesn't lead to an elimination. Oh, nasty impact. Uh-oh. Conor McGregor. Oh, I was going to say, if Conor charges him, he doesn't have a shot at throwing him out there. Conor had a shot at uh, charging him, perhaps. And the Sentinel at 29. Oh, man, this is game over. It's just game over for one team. I, I'm sorry. The, the odds of this... Oh, my goodness! <laughs> and breakdancing. The Sentinel does all these inappropriate taunts that he would never do and Conor McGregor though big elimination on Dr. Manhattan and that is a big loss for darkness and uh oh the Sentinel could make Conor McGregor pay that was a big loss and Walker Texas Ranger at number 30 and Conor's out so the remainder for Tyler Tyler is down to one man, and that is Corvus from uh, Infinity War. He's one of Thanos' helpers. He's down to him. That's all he's got in the Rumble. It is a 25% chance he can win this thing. Um, Darkness has Chuck Norris. He has the Sentinel, and he has Elvis. And uh, Tyler has Corvus. That's all he's got, which Corvus isn't bad. He's got a shot at this, but the Sentinel is the problem. And that is, as soon as I saw the Sentinel wasn't in yet, I was like, this is going to be a humongous issue. Trying for the elimination here. Now, we've seen impossible eliminations before. But Walker may seal the deal again for Darkness. He may have it here. And he does. Walker again seals the deal for Team Darkness Juggalo, and they are going to the final two. It will be DJ versus Darkness in the final two. What are the odds? That is crazy. So, uh, if you guys don't watch WTF Wrestling, they're, they have like a little rivalry going, and DJ has a shot at redemption because his team is the one of the best teams, but Darkness has the Sentinel. He has Dr. Manhattan. Uh, he has the Beast. And he has Wreck-It Ralph. Those are four big guys. But DJ has Jaws. And he has Predator. And he also has... Uh, who's the other guy that's pretty big? Well, the Avatar. but And the Terminator. So, I mean... Oh, really, Sentinel? Those fans paid money to come see you wrestle. And that's how you treat them? The Sentinel's totally inappropriate. Whoever made his taunts, like, did it to... I don't know why they made his taunts like that. I didn't do that. This could be it, guys. They made him to be funny. 
And I think it's hilarious because I don't ever recall a Sentinel doing that in x -Men. And I'm telling you, Chuck Norris may be not tough enough for this guy. Oh, boy, that could have been bad. Yeah, it's, it's, oh! Tremendous Walker's still in. Impressive. There he is! Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> this is an interesting matchup in the final two, even though it's not a 1v1. So Tyler has been eliminated. He had a great run in the Rumble, had two good wins. Uh, but absolutely test your resolve, guys. It's over officially for him. So it is going to be DJ versus Darkness. And it is gonna, that is going to be a heck of a fight. I cannot wait to see how that one turns out. And Walker, yeah, this is not Rick Sanchez from the last Rumble. You are going to have a time and a half with this guy. This guy's built to take on mutants, okay? Oh, man. Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> He's playing with him now. I, I still don't think he could take the Sentinel. We'll see. Oh, man. He may very well be on Dream Street right now, guys. Yeah, he's in bad shape right now. But come on, it's nothing we haven't seen him overcome in the past. Not and the Sentinel, look here. There goes Walker. So, wow. The Sentinel has won the Rumble. I told you Walker couldn't beat him. I, I know you all have all the Chuck Norris jokes. But the guy is built to kill people like Magneto. He's built to kill people like uh, the Wolverine and Storm. I mean, he's a mutant killer, basically. If I'm, if I recall, the Sentinel is. So he wins the Rumble tonight, and like I've said, even though he, this is the first time he's won one for Darkness, this guy is who uh, DJ's team needs to worry about. He's going to cause problems. And he's not going to WrestleMania. He's not. He came in at like 28 or something. <laughs> like, really? You think I'm going to give you a WrestleMania pass? Yeah, you're not going. Sorry. Uh, but Darkness wins. So final round, guys, will be DJ versus Darkness. The winner will get a Royal Rumble of their choice. Um, and then we, and the winner will also get to keep his team in the next tournament, just to let you all know. So, DJ has a lot on the line here, but he also has a shot at redemption after the tag uh, match at WTF. So, uh, it's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see how that one turns out. So, I will see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we've been doing well in these tournaments. We had a little pushback there, but we got all the characters back, so we're good to go. Um, I'll see you all later.